Solar Umba 4000. What would happen if they made a home vacuum robot bigger? Well, you don't have to imagine. The result is right here on your screen. Cleaning a house using the Freedom Solar Power Vacuum Cleaner is quite a challenge, given its diameter of 7 feet. With such dimensions, it seems obvious that its primary purpose is outdoor cleaning. The Solar Umba 4000 handles street cleaning automatically, thanks to a bunch of different sensors. These sensors help the robot navigate around obstacles and clean up without posing any danger to people walking on the street. Once it hits the pavement, Solar Umba 4000 can tidy up almost indefinitely, relying on the sun to power it up via its 600-watt solar panel on top. You'd almost think this robot was just a fancy marketing gimmick, wouldn't you? Yet its makers insist otherwise. Zooming along the streets at 12 miles per hour, the robot managed to gather over 200 pounds of trash. Here's one of the first robot vacuums released in 1959. Looking at the Solar Umba 4000, you might think that there hasn't been much progress in the design of these devices, and that these machines will still look similar in another hundred years. Solar Powered Sauna Anything can run on solar power, even a floating sauna. Having a sauna that can float on water is already pretty unusual and quite handy. For instance, it doesn't take up any space on land and can be moved to any place with water deep enough for it to float. But installing solar panels takes your sauna experience to a whole new level. Thanks to this addition, you can skip the hassle of constantly charging the battery on shore and lugging it over to the floating sauna. Without solar panels, you'd need to ration energy to avoid getting stuck out on the lake somewhere. But with the panels, you can enjoy using the fridge, lights, and other devices without holding back or needing to take extra steps, easily moving the sauna to any spot along the shoreline. The only drawback is that solar panels don't work after sunset, however, that's easily charged with a battery in place. You can let it soak up sunlight during the day from the panels and then enjoy the sauna to the fullest at night. Solar Powered Trailer Energy Anywhere It's clear that this should be the motto for mobile power trailers. Imagine a trailer that you can easily hook up to your car and take wherever you want. It's 18 feet long, 9 feet wide, and 7 feet tall, made of metal and comes with weather-resistant solar panels. Of course, let's not forget that the main job of the trailer is to keep the energy flowing. It handles this job confidently, with 8 solar panels producing a total of 3.8 kilowatts. That's enough power for most tasks, except when you're powering a bunch of super-demanding gadgets all at once. But if you do need more power, there's a way to get it. The company didn't focus on free energy only and equipped their trailers with a diesel generator pumping out 5,200 watts with a 4-gallon tank or a gasoline generator producing 7,000 watts with a 7-gallon tank. Solar Cow you probably haven't seen anything weirder than this contraption for harnessing solar power. Yep, it's a cow, a solar cow. When it comes to harnessing solar energy, this creature relies on a classic setup, solar panels. Placed on the upper part of this metal horned animal, these panels can easily power different gadgets with a simple inverter and cable. However, the main purpose of the cow is something else altogether. It's charging up rechargeable batteries located in a spot where a real cow's udder would be. Anyone can come by and take a sort of a power bank, which they can then use for all sorts of things. But the makers went a step further. Each one of these little gadgets also works as an MP3 player and a flashlight. This solution is truly remarkable, don't you think? And it's not just about showing off creativity, it's about addressing a genuinely important problem, supplying free energy to areas where even paid electricity is unavailable. The company's actively expanding in this direction. By 2020, they'd installed three solar cows and distributed 550 universal batteries, providing electricity to 2,420 people. Actually, animals with solar panels aren't really a new thing. It's pretty strange that besides Yope, no one else thought of decking them out with portable batteries. But you know, that could totally help a bunch of people, even those who aren't struggling with power issues. Horizon 
Many homes are being equipped with solar awnings, but companies aren't stopping there. Now on your screens unfolds a solar roof that can cover vast areas. Having plenty of free energy is great, especially when you can use such a roof for places where a lot of energy is consumed, but it's worth noting the unfolding feature of the roof. That's the main thing to pay attention to. The roof can unfold and fold back not just at the push of a button, but also on its own when needed. This happens thanks to sensors that automatically trigger the roof to move into a protective position during storms, hail, or heavy snow. On sunny days, the solar panels spread out to help homeowners save on electricity. Solar systems come with cables and a patented folding mechanism. This allows solar roof components to be positioned at a great height above the ground with plenty of space between supports. This is especially handy for factories as it gives big vehicles room to maneuver. Plus, it cuts material use by half compared to similar systems, saving even more. The solar roof that harnesses sunlight energy uses modules without glass, making them lighter and easier to install. This also means owners can easily expand the system if needed. Solar Water Heater With this system, another way to harness solar energy emerges, specifically heating water. This setup has two key components, a panel and a water reservoir positioned above. The panel acts as a sort of collector, soaking in sunlight and transferring that heat to the water reservoir, raising its temperature. This is a great solution for harnessing solar energy, but it might take some effort to set up. The system components are not lightweight, so you'll need to work a bit to haul them onto the roof. And of course, you'll need to put in some work to connect the water heater to the plumbing system of your home or pool. Solar-powered pool skimmer. While automatic pool cleaners do simplify life, Beta believe they could offer more. That's why they developed a cleaner with solar panels. Their performance isn't top-notch, but that's not a big deal for a small device. Charging up this gadget with such panels doesn't take much time. Once fully charged, Beta's robot can keep going non-stop for 30 hours. What about cleaning? Beta got that covered. The company equipped its robot with an ultrasonic radar to spot obstacles. Thanks to this, the robot automatically navigates around them while cleaning the entire pool area. And if the owner isn't happy with the robot's autonomous cleaning, they can use the remote control. You don't even need to remove the pool robot after cleaning. Just dock it, open the cover, and take out the basket. Additionally, the company made sure that the pool cleaning robot can handle any harsh conditions. To achieve this, all components of the robot are crafted from materials that resist chlorine, ultraviolet rays, and naturally physical damage. Grover Take a look at this NASA robot. It's easy to see how it gets free energy. Just check out those solar panels on its body. And if it needs more power, you can add a couple of wind turbines. But this isn't just any robot gathering energy to give to people. It's a real explorer using the sun and wind to perform various tasks independently and autonomously. The robot has already proven itself in action. NASA deployed it to the perfect spot to test its abilities, the Arctic territory of Greenland. Moving on its caterpillar tracks at an average speed of 1.2 miles per hour for five weeks, the 790-pound robot received commands via satellite and autonomously collected radar data. It also transmitted real-time updates about its onboard system, all without needing extra charges thanks to its solar panels. Despite successfully completing a tough trial, NASA believes there's always room for improvement, so there are plans to upgrade the rover. They're aiming to replace components that don't handle the cold well and merge two onboard computers to cut down on power usage. There's even talk of adding sleds to carry extra solar panels, which could boost equipment and expand the rover's autonomous capabilities. It's highly unlikely that regular people will ever get a robot from NASA. However, there's this solar-powered generator from Jackery that's sure to catch the eye of anyone really into mobile energy solutions. Floating Solar Farm People are trying to set up solar farms in all sorts of places nowadays. SunGrow Floating PV has made it possible to place solar panels even on water. To achieve this, the company didn't change the solar panels themselves, as making them float isn't a simple task. 
Instead, they took a simple yet clever approach by introducing additional floating platforms. These platforms owe their buoyancy to the material they're made of, high-density polyethylene. It's this material that enables the solar panels to stay afloat on the water. Additionally, using such materials makes the platforms durable against physical stress, waves, rain, heat aging, scratches, wear and tear, and temperatures ranging from minus 40 degrees to plus 185 degrees Fahrenheit. These solar farms can withstand all the harmful effects of nature. SunGrow Floating PV chose to make both the setup and deployment of solar panels pretty simple. All you need to do is place the panels on platforms and securely fasten them. Then connect them to the energy storage unit. Voila! You're now generating power without taking up land space. Such farms are not only easy to scale, but also incredibly versatile. If you need a small farm, no problem. And if you find yourself needing more power after installation, you can simply add more panels and platforms. You can keep doing this until you run out of space on the water. OE35 Wave generators are among the most massive energy generating structures out there. To grasp their enormity, just take a look at Ocean Energy's device. 125 by 59 feet and a weight of 826 tons. That's all about OE35. Doesn't seem impressive enough to you? Well, let's put it this way. Creating a wave converter requires entire shipyards and a huge amount of time, effort, and resources. Here's how energy is produced. The OE35 moored to the ocean floor captures waves with three airtight chambers. When water levels in these chambers rise, the air is forced upward. As they fall, the air is sucked back in. This rotation drives a turbine, creating electrical power. Compared to similar devices, the device boasts a substantial power capacity of 1.25 megawatts, earning it the title of the most potent floating converter for wave energy, as many experts claim. Yet, its time at the top will soon be over, as ocean energy has its sights set on creating a larger, more powerful device with a capacity of up to 2.5 megawatts. Solar Street Lighting There are places where it's really tough, sometimes even impossible to run electric cables for outdoor lighting. In such situations, P-Box streetlights are the perfect solution. They get their power from solar panels on top of the unit. While they aren't massive, they boast a decent 21% efficiency for solar panels and range in power from 35 to 400 watts depending on the version. On top of that, they come with a built-in battery that charges up when the sun's out and then provides energy for lighting when the panel isn't getting any sunlight. Also, these lights can be made super efficient by switching them to a mode where they only light up when they detect movement nearby. The street lights are pretty efficient, achieving a brightness of 180 lumens only requires one watt of energy. This is made possible by smart controllers and the use of high-quality modern components in the lighting system. As noted earlier, P-Box street lights are tough enough to easily handle outdoor conditions. Made entirely from aluminum, they're built to withstand not only physical damage, but also winds reaching speeds of over 124 miles per hour. Moreover, these lights are waterproof and resistant to corrosion. Project Natic Microsoft wondered how to use water for cooling and cutting down on the electricity a data center uses. They came up with an interesting idea, submerging the structure underwater. In the first phase of bringing their Project Natic to life, the renowned company submerged a prototype measuring 10 by 7 feet and weighing 17.2 tons underwater. There, a unit with the computing power of 300 desktop computers spent 105 days, staying cool only thanks to the surrounding water. It dissipated heat through heat exchangers on the external steel shell. Another important detail was that power was partially supplied by wave energy. Microsoft soon realized that their solution was practical, so they decided to dive into further research. They submerged a different data storage facility underwater, this time opting for a larger when measuring 39 feet in length. They also increased the depth to 118 feet. 
The cooling system for the new larger data center also relies on water. It flows through radiators attached to the back walls of the server racks before returning to the ocean. The data center currently relies on external sources for power, tapping into wind turbines, tidal turbines, and solar panels. However, this is just the beginning for Microsoft's underwater data centers. They aim to eventually make them entirely self-sufficient, powered solely by built-in wave or tidal generators.